sup sup flappers have you ever had a dream where you too can be a big titty anime why sup sup flappers today we have the pirate girl herself beto up for display so when you think of Beto, you likely think of her counter as being the highlight of her kit. And yes, while full counter is certainly strong, it's not going to be everything. So today, I will show you how you can build Beto to be an absolute beast, starting with her weapons, artifacts, and moving to team builds. The cool thing about Beto is that with one build, you can actually fulfill two roles, main and support DPS. Of course, with all my guides, detailed timestamps can be found in the description. So please navigate to the parts of the video that you need. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. So for main DPS, Beto skill priority should go for her skill tide caller first and then her normal attack. Finally, her burst skill for support beto you should prioritize her burst skill then her elemental skill and finally her normal attack however always start by getting each of them to level 5 first i would say beto requires some understanding of the game and mob mechanics to utilize her full potential don't get me wrong anyone can pick up beto and play her but for her full counter you don't just get to sit there and wait all day instead you get to remain in this stance until one of the following triggers number one the stance automatically releases after four seconds regardless of other requirements for number two once beto has exceeded the amount of damage she can absorb the skill will automatically release as well and number three, Beto can choose to release her skill at any given time. And if you actually time this properly with her talent bonus, you can actually increase the range and deal extra damage with this skill. The so skill mastery is very important for Beto's elemental skill. Also do keep in mind that Beto's skill is omnidirectional, so it doesn't matter which direction you're facing, it will always do full counter. And along with the three previously mentioned conditions, Beto's elemental skill is both versatile and extremely powerful. Damage mitigation in most cases of Genshin Impact is a solely defensive function. However, Beidou along with Xinyan have defensive mechanisms that allow for offensive capabilities. If we are to compare Beidou and Xinyan, I would say Beidou's counter wins by a long shot. I'll briefly go over Beidou's burst skill here. Basically, it's like Razor's burst where it enhances and cloaks Beidou in an electric shroud and deals damage to surrounding enemies. The key thing to note regarding this burst skill is that it remains on the field when Beidou is not on the field. And this is also the key to support Beidou. Now let's move on to constellations for Beidou. If you get her to constellation 4, it is enough. I would say constellation 6, while nice to have, it's definitely not necessary to have, unlike constellation 1, 2, and 4, where new functions are introduced. Constellation 6 simply amplifies damage, and constellation 4 unlocks an amazing combo synergy with another character which I will go over in team suggestions. Now we are done with the basics, it's time to look at weapons. So for weapon, Beidou has a couple choices, but for this video, we'll focus on main DPS. Starting with the 4-star options, I suggest you to run the Prototype Archaic. Now this is a free-to-play player's dream. With Prototype Archaic, you can run Beidou almost at full efficiency. This weapon is also known previously as the Prototype Aminus. You can also use the Black Cliff Slasher if you have picked it up from the Star Glitter Shop. And finally, the BP weapon Serpent Spine is an excellent weapon for Beidou. If you can play around her counter well, you can mitigate almost all the damage. However, there is some contradictions to her Constellation 4 when using this weapon, so you should start the fight by having her take damage before building up your weapon stacks. Now, 5-star weapons, the Wolf, Wraithstone, and Unforge are great weapons, but for the Unforge, Beidou's burst skill sometimes does not provide enough shielding, so you'd need to run a support who can also shield you, but if you can play around her damage mitigation mechanics well, I would say Beidou by herself can be enough, but you would have to be quite skilled with her. And for those who are wondering if the Skyward Pride is a weapon that's good for Beidou, it can be, but it is situational since it does give energy recharge, you do lack a bit of damage when running that weapon. So for for the most part, I would suggest you to not use the Skyward's Pride. Artifacts for Beidou are relatively straightforward, but for the most part, you should be running 2 times Thundering Fury and 2 times Gladiator for Beidou main DPS. 4 times Gladiator can work as well depending on your playstyle if you do not rely on her counter to deal with massive damage and prefers the normal and charge attack playstyle, you could run the 4 times Gladiators, but just so you know, you will be losing out on damage potential with this build. So for the most part, I would suggest the 2 piece Thundering Fury and 2 piece 
Gladiator for Beto main DPS. Main stat for artifacts should be attack percentage sans, electro damage cup, and crit rate or crit damage for headpiece depending on your substats. Beto, just like most other main DPS, needs around 50% crit rate before you start heavily investing into crit damage, so do keep that in mind. Now, some people may be looking at this and wondering, is attack percentage cup viable? And yes, just like for artifacts, if you find that when playing Beidou, you do not use her elemental skill as much and you just like to use her normal attack, mostly attack damage will be better. Uh, but do keep in mind, do not ever build physical damage on Beidou because while building attack damage, you still get scaling for your elemental skill. But if you do physical damage cup, then you lose out completely on scaling for her elemental skill and her burst. So attack percentage is as far as I would go. And even attack percentage is a very situational build. Also, I do not suggest building any HP percentage on Beidou, even though she has scaling for it in her elemental skill. Through testing, attack percentage on the Sans piece still gives the most damage overall. Now, artifact substats priority should be crit damage to crit rate, attack percentage, and then energy recharge. Finally, let's go over some team builds for Beidou. First team I suggest you give a try is Beidou main DPS, Xingqiu support DPS, Bennett healer, and Fischl elemental support. This is a high voltage team and is one of the occasions that high voltage is extremely useful. For Xingqiu to support, if you have Beidou at constellation 4, her normal attack can chain onto enemies and Xingqiu's burst skill will apply electro charge to all those enemies, which causes huge damage. Bennett can proc overload, but it's mostly a team buffer. Fischl is just, you know, Fischl. Apart from being here for the high voltage resonance, she also deals quite a bit of off-field damage. For team two, I would suggest just a little change and for you to go with a double pyro team. Starting with Beidou main DPS, Shaoling support DPS, Bennett healer, and now we have moved Xingqiu into the elemental support position. This team takes advantage of the double power resonance boost and vaporize support. Also with Shaoling's extremely offensive support kit, you can turn Beidou into a raid boss. Finally, I will suggest one support DPS Beidou team because I just think it's so good and fun to play. So for someone like Child, Beidou can work really well as a support DPS for him. Child main DPS, Beidou support DPS with Bennett healer and Shaoling elemental support can give Child unparalleled damage potential please 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 do give this team a try if you enjoy electro charge i know it's underwhelming but this is one of the scenarios where it actually works out really really well in the end you can be creative with beto because her kit is so versatile just remember to bring the right gear to make her shine and that's it for this video make sure to like and subscribe if this guide has helped you and let me know what you would like to see going forward i take pride in leveling and testing all my characters so i can provide you all with the most accurate information i can obtain i post genshin videos daily so subscribe to check out more content also you can check out more content prior to this i've made tons of content i think at this point i have over 100 videos on genshin impact so please take your time and enjoy that and of course if you'll excuse me while i go work on my next genshin video and i'll see you all there so stay safe and peace peace